Okay, I gotta call on this nuke soon. We're at uh, 163. There we go. Let's get this guy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, breaking ankles. I feel like Joe Bo right here. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm assuming most of you guys know this, but if you didn't know, these shotguns finally got nerfed. Well, it was actually a bug. So the buck and slug attachment, which is an ammo type, that was actually doing headshot damage to the limbs. So broken, but they finally fixed it. And so now I got you guys the new best combat shotgun class setup if you still want to be a menace. Say you guys do find this video helpful or you just want to support the channel, make sure you hit that like button down below. It really helps me out. And if you are new to the channel and you want to see more of my content, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below but without further ado let's get right into the first attachment for the muzzle we're doing the m97 full choke and so this class is going to be a little bit similar but since we're not using buck and slug anymore i pretty much made it so you can have a quick ads and high damage and so if you want more one shot kills you want to do the full choke it's going to make it so more of the pellets hit the enemy for the barrel you want to do the sawed off this is just going to increase that damage leading to more one shot kills we are losing 19 to our damage range but i didn't really find that as an issue too much for the optic i would use whatever you guys like but with this recent nerf now it's going to be about a consistent one to two to three shot kill and so if you ads you're going to get more one shot kills on the stock we are going to be doing the adjustable because it's going to increase as front to fire speed and ads speed making it very snappy on the underbarrel so we can ads a little bit quicker you want to do the mark four skeletal on the magazine i recommend you guys to run the 16 gauge seven round drum mag or no mag at all and so previously we would do the 10 round mag but this is going to hurt your ads speed by a lot okay only hurts by two percent but this thing really doesn't have that fast of an ads speed and so i'm trying to like maximize that guess i recommend you guys to go through all the magazines and try it without a magazine and use the one that you like for me i just like the seven round mag because i want an extended mag and i want to be able to ads it fairly quickly on the ammo you want to do the pack powder just to bring up the effective damage range that we are losing with the sawed off barrel previously we would do the buck and slug but now with the nerf it's pretty much literally the same damage as the pack powder but you have a very slow ads and so you can't really ads and so you have to hit fire so overall i found that the pack powder is the best but if you want to use buck and slug go ahead and use it on the rear grip to increase the overall mobility of the weapon you want to do the fabric grip on the proficiency you want to do the vital sometimes you'll get a one shot kill at like medium range just because it's going to do like headshot damage to the arm sometimes lastly on the kit because we are going to be rushing a lot you got to be in the enemy's face to use a shock and you want to do the quick just so you're a little bit quicker here's an overview of the class in case you guys want to take a screenshot of it with all that said that is going to wrap it up for the class now let's get into the toxic gameplay can this game please work dude we're like in 2022 and we're still lagging when we load into the game but so anyways boys oh my god okay it's still lagging okay we have the new and improved combat shotgun well actually it's not improved but you know the new best setup for the combat shotgun you should be able to drop a nice little easy nuke and so it's pretty much the same as the other setup it's just now that you have pack powder instead of buck and slug and then you have a lot of attachments for ads because it's always going to be about a one to two shot kill and so that's why i built it so it has good ads because if I was you, I would just ADS for every kill. Obviously, you still can hit fire, but you'll have a higher chance to get that one shot, one kill if you hit fire. Okay, I really hope these noobs don't pull out the shotgun, and we're dead. Oh my gosh, no, we're not. Never mind, it's just a joke. There's a crack sniper on the other team. And he doesn't really like to push up. He just kind of sits back. It's really weird. Maybe he's going for, like, bloodthirsties. Can you calm down? Dude, these guys don't push up. They just sit back. I don't blame them because there's the shotguns, but it's still annoying. Okay, so yeah, this thing is still pretty broken. Okay, you know what I would say? I would say it's a little bit overpowered. Just a little bit. Mix up the guns. There we go. Dude, the sniper, he doesn't push up. He just sits back. Oh, get off me, buddy. Get off me. Okay, so we got a couple kills. Uh, we can probably still play pretty aggressive. Just want to make sure I get this nuke, and then we'll play very, very aggressive. Dude, I don't like these guys at all. Let's push back a little bit. Honestly, I should have like an AR as my secondary just so I can kill them at range. There we go. Okay, we got the attack dogs. I think we're just going to zone this one spot and just play very safe. Once we get the nuke, though, we'll play more aggressive. Wait, why can I see his name tag, but I can't hit him? That's so weird. I shouldn't be able to see his name tag then if I can't hit him. There we go. Okay, yeah, the enemy's got shotguns too, so it's a little bit sketchy now. They're running that a little bit away from me, just so they throw a nade and I don't die. Okay, there's actually a lot of enemies over here. I'm not going to push that just because, you know, this thing isn't always a one-shot, one-kill anymore. There we go. Get off me with your shotgun. 
I'm the only shotgunner here. Okay, we got the local reinforcements, which is really good. Let's play this left side. Come on, push me, push me. I want to run out there, but they're all watching this, and I got a shotgun. Okay, let's actually push up over here. Oh, never mind. There we go, 16. We only need a few more kills. We got this, boys. There's a couple in there, but I just don't want to play too aggressive. There we go. I think they know kind of where we're sitting. So I'm going to push back a little bit. Play it safe. Oh my god, oh my god, get off me. They just threw so many Molotovs on me. Okay, I just need five more kills for this nuke and then we'll play aggressive. Okay, they are capturing B, but that's okay. Okay, don't want to push that. Teammates, just because I'm sitting back doesn't mean you guys need to sit back too. You guys can push up. You don't need daddy. If they got a UAV, that would be so clutch. I feel so weird to play this slow with this shotgun. Like, I'm not used to this whatsoever. Move, 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 move. There we go. There's actually so many people there, Jesus. I don't think someone's gonna come up behind me. I don't think. Two more kills and we get this nuke. Got my teammate coming up behind me. There we go, boys. We got the nuke. Let's go, boys. And then we died. Oh my gosh, that was so close. So as you guys can see, this thing is pretty nerfed. It's still really good, but it's not as broken. Like, okay, so the thing that was actually happening before, I talked about earlier in the class the portion of this video, but if you fast forward to the gameplay, so the Buck and Slug, it actually used to do headshot damage two limbs and so if you shot someone in the leg or in the arm it would literally do headshot damage so it's pretty much like everyone just you know had heads across their whole body that makes sense and so that's why it was so broken and i think maybe maybe let me know if you guys think this too if there's any coders in the chat do you think that it took them so long to nerf it because they couldn't figure out why it was that strong because it was doing headshot damage to limbs and so it's not like something where you can just nerf the range or nerf buck and slug it was like an actual bug in their coding i think and so is that do you think that's why it took them so long because they couldn't figure out why it was so strong i think that's why i don't really know that's kind of weird too and i feel like activision and like all these developers like the managers are just hiring people based off like their degrees and things not because of their skills i feel like they should go off like their skills and degrees but they're just going off like what they've done before which is good too but i think you guys know what i mean like they should look at the skills and try to hire the people who really know what they're doing rather than just having the degree but not being that good at coding and so that could be an explanation of why they couldn't figure it out but then again you know we don't know if that was the reason that they couldn't nerf this thing sooner they could have been just lazy or just like weird i don't know i was super mind blown like i really don't know why it took them so long to nerf this thing because it was literally ruined the game like i didn't even want to play the game because of how broken the shotguns were and like they lost so much money because of it like less people bought the game and so I feel like that has to be the reason. Okay, let's see if we can get some extra kills. I've been talking too much. Oh. No. Too many of them. Oh my god, get off me. Get off. Oh my god, get go. No, I couldn't run. It made me reload. Usually when I like why why if I like sprint, it cancels the reload. But right there, it didn't. That was weird. Let's call on this uh, counter. There we go. There we go. Oh my gosh, this thing is still so broken. I think it needs another nerf. Maybe they were just nerfing it like they fixed the bug where it was doing headshot damage to limbs and then they'll do another nerf on top of it later. I would hope so. It's still pretty broken. I think for my uh, one of the next videos of this week, I'll go over the uh, Akembo double barrel shotgun so you guys can get the best class setup for that if you want to be a menace and use that. Okay, I got to call on this nuke soon. We're at uh, 163. There we go. Let's get this guy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Breaking ankles. I feel like Jobo right here. Dude, that was so satisfied. Oh my gosh. It's so fun making these shotgun videos. I feel so toxic, but it's so fun. Oh. Boom. Boom. Yeah, so you can still hip fire a lot. I just feel like it's better to have the option between hip fire and ADS, and so that's why I like the pack powder more than buck and slug. But you still can use buck and slug. You can use whatever you like. This is just like oh, my personal favorite setup for the gun. Okay, we gotta call on this nuke soon. We're at 181. Try to get some extra kills though. 
I feel like they all left the game. They're like, screw this. I don't want to play this anymore. Okay, boys, we got 100 kills. You know, I would say that's good enough. Let's call on this nuke. Let's unmute the mics. Hopefully, they got something to say. Let's freaking go, boys. If you guys could leave a like on the video, that'd be greatly appreciated. It really helps me in that YouTube algorithm. You know, trying trying to make my dreams of becoming a YouTuber true. And so if you guys could hit that like button, that would be awesome. But no worries if not. You know, if you want to dislike this, I totally understand. This, this gun is so broken. This is so toxic. 111 kills. I will take it. Ain't no way this guy got 111 kills. Ain't no way. Hey, hey, no way. <laughs> okay, well, boys, I think that is going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll hopefully see you in my next video.